what's up there YouTube quick new video for you guys today uh, this one's just gonna be a video on a new ROM that I actually just found out about and it is called carbon ROM and what it is it's in a version of AOKP slash uh, CM 10.1 uh, that runs Android 4.2.2 uh, so it packs a whole bunch of features and most of it is pretty much perfectly stable. Uh, the only issues I can see right now are maybe uh, spotty Bluetooth and spotty GPS. Uh, but other than that, this ROM is absolutely amazing. It's going to be on a whole crop of devices such as your Galaxy Note 2, uh, Verizon Galaxy Nexus, other Galaxy Nexuses as well of course, and uh, the Nexus 7, uh, Galaxy S3, and the Nexus 4. Uh, but basically guys, uh, let's get into the video right now and I'll show you off a bunch of the list of features. Hey what's up guys, we are back in the video. Uh, so right now, as you can see, this is my current home screen. Uh, I have a bunch of different widgets and all these uh, different icons and stuff like that. Uh, but that is stuff that you're going to be able to do without the ROM itself. But as you can see already, uh, like right here, the notification bar, you can see that I have made it transparent. Uh, so I did change the opacity of that. As well as if you are on the Galaxy Nexus, uh, you're going to be able to change the transparency of the navigation buttons as well. And if you would like, you can put the navigation buttons on your Galaxy Note 2 or your Galaxy S3 as well. Uh, but another nice feature is you're going to be able to change the background image of your notification drawer itself. So as you can see, I have this pretty uh, sweet line uh, that my friend showed me that I like that I use as my uh, notification background. And when you go actually into the settings, uh, you're going to see all the settings that you do actually have. And it doesn't just have like a ROM control and stuff. It's all listed out for you uh, right away, uh, just right here. So when you go into interface, you're going to be able to notice that you're going to be able to change your carrier label, uh, change the notification drawer style. Uh, that's where you're able to uh, change the background image and the transparency slash opacity and stuff like that, as well as a whole bunch of different list of things. And like I said, you can also add those uh, notification shortcuts. Uh, so. As you can see, when I first turn on my phone, I already have a whole list of different things that I'm able to choose from. And it's not going to be where I have to uh, swipe up to them or anything like that. You can actually just push one and it will take you right into the app. And so yeah, it will take you right into things like uh, Instagram, your text messaging, all of those different things. And to get more into the features, uh, you are going to be able to change everything else on your lock screen. Uh, you can change the slider target, so if you do want to be able to slide up to them, uh, you can see how that's going to work right from inside uh, the lock screen settings. And you can add a different bunch of shortcuts, uh, what long presses will change, uh, use widget carousel, I'm sorry about that, and a bunch of different button actions and all of those uh, nice fancy things. And uh, you also have your performance, so you're going to be able to overclock or underclock your device right into the settings. Uh, if you don't have something like Franco Kernel or Trinity Kernel, uh, which is f used for uh, Galaxy Nexus and uh, other Nexus devices and stuff like that themselves. And just a whole bunch of different things where you can change the status bar. Uh, like I did here, you can um, move the clock uh, so it's in the center, uh, add... Uh, the percentage for your battery and a whole bunch of different things and like I said just to show you guys this is running Android 4.2.2 uh, so you can see that right here and it is carbon ROM jelly bean version 1.1 and like I said guys this is a, an amazing app all the different things you're able to do with it are absolutely incredible uh, the notification bar is one of the things that I like the most and another thing you can change, uh, so swiping across the uh, notification bar, uh, we'll change the brightness right then and there instead of having to go into the actual settings uh, yourself. And you can also add different things to your power menu, uh, so you can add the screenshot choice or expand desktop or anything like that, uh, which I don't really need because I don't have navigation bars or uh, navigation buttons or anything like that, or the soft key ones anyway. And 
Otherwise, guys, the rest of the stuff is pretty uh, normal. Uh, you're going to be able to have different themes that you can get from Google Play Store if you would like to do that. Uh, for this, it would actually just pretty much change the uh, notification bar and maybe the icons and stuff like that. Not the navigation buttons, obviously, since it is... Um, since it is the Galaxy Note 2 and it does not have those. And you have a bunch of quick settings you can do as well. And right, pretty much guys, right when you go into settings you're going to see a whole list of the different things that you're going to be able to do. Uh, as you can see here are the navigation bars, uh, buttons I should say, uh, where you would be able to add some if you would like. Uh, add button glow, uh, change the navigation bar height. Um, it may be easier for me to show you on the Galaxy Nexus, so let me get that out right here. Alright guys, here is the uh, Galaxy Nexus. Uh, as you can see, kind of the same thing. Uh, this is also running Android 4.2.2. And here is my home screen for this itself. And I'm also using the Lion uh, as my notification background here. But as you can see, the transparency for the uh, navigation buttons and the navigation bar is a, bu a lot different. As well as you can see that it's gone on the, navig uh, the status bar as well. But that's about it, guys. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video for you guys showing off this awesome ROM. Uh, pretty much everything is almost perfectly stable. It's going to be even more stable on Nexus devices since it is easier to uh, root and ROM them and just develop for those as well. Uh, but it runs pretty dang great on my Galaxy Note 2 as well, as well as my Nexus 7. Uh, but that's about it, guys. Uh, I just wanted to show you that quick little video. And if you guys liked it, uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at BlackBlizzner, as well as subscribe to me here on YouTube. And again, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a great rest of the day.